Hey everyone, how have you been holding up recently? Let me know because I genuinely want to know and care about you. You've seen by now that I see every single comment. Now, welcome into Corby Tech. Today marks the first video in our debunk series. We'll be uncovering the truth behind disabling full screen optimizations and their effectiveness in improving performance. What is full screen optimizations? It's a feature in Windows that allows the operating system to optimize the performance of games and apps when they are running in full screen mode. It is enabled by default. The optimization it's supposed to provide is give you the visual experience and performance of running in a game in full screen exclusive, but with the benefits of running in borderless windowed mode. So it's giving you much faster PC commands like fast alt tabbing, being able to use multiple monitors much easier, along with overlay support. It sounds pretty great, right? When using FSO, your game believes it's running in FSC, but behind the scenes, it's running in borderless windowed. That's the issue here. It's not true full screen. When game runs in borderless windowed mode, the game doesn't have full control of the display. That control is given to the desktop window manager. WDM manages everything that is rendered and presented in front of your display and what's held in the background. This results in a performance overhead versus true full screen exclusive. And Microsoft knows about the performance overhead. In an attempt to fix it, they push all GPU and CPU power into the game, which in turn allows equivalent performance to running a game in FSC. So why disable this feature? Because it doesn't always provide that equal performance. In the dev blog from Microsoft, they state that they know it can cause input lag or performance regression. Disabling also makes alt tabbing a bit harder, like your screen turning black. It can also affect some overlay support. Before I get into running some benchmarks, let me just say, my results might not be the same as yours. As your self-proclaimed PC tweaker safety trainer, you should one, not believe everything you see, many tweakers fake benchmarks, and two, know exactly what settings you do to your PC, stop blindly trusting tweakers and I can't mean it enough, and three, always test these for yourself. My results will be as accurate as humanly possible, and you can trust it because that's what this whole series is about, debunking the effectiveness of tweaks. I'm out here about to start so many Twitter wars, calling out so many tweakers, as many as possible for making certain tweaks seem like the goal and goose of all tweaks. Joking about war for legal reasons, of course, which, hey, you should go follow my Twitter so legally I could not start wars. We're going to go ahead and start with FSO enable in our registry. So that'll be H key current user system game config store. And then once we're here, look for a setting called game DVR DSC behavior. Mine is actually not here by default, it seems. So go ahead and create a new D word value and type it in as you see it. After that, just hit enter. And here a value of two will disable full screen optimizations and a value of two enables it. So keeping it on zero. And then further down into the configs as well, we wanna go down to children, go on over to edit, I believe, hit find, and then just type in Fortnite or whichever game it is that you play, hit next. And you're going to wanna make sure it's just the normal win 64 shipping. This one is easy anti-cheat. Going back down to edit, hit find next, see if this is the right one. It appears that it is. And then here under flags, 11 hexadecimal means that FSO isn't disabled. So go ahead, we wanna make sure that this is on 11 here. Hit okay go ahead and give your machine a reboot and lastly we want to go to the install location and make sure that it isn't disabled there as well so once again just the normal shipping.exe go on down to properties compatibility and just make sure that this is not checked go ahead hit apply hit okay and then onwards to fortnite we go in this video i'll be using both cap frame x and latency mod to get statistics because I know you guys are all about show and proof. And then finally, I'll be doing three games on each test mode. And I'm only gonna show you gameplay from one of them because I don't wanna be here all day and you guys don't wanna be here all day. And let's just be honest, you'll probably skip to the end anyways. So with that, let's go ahead, get started. I started doing off what any sane person would do, secure that first medallion. And then move straight on over to the next one. The second medallion was secured. It was an easy fight worthy of my world-class dancing skills. I did have to kill the spot using 99% of my power. It was pretty rough. After drowning my sorrows in a bottle, I did what any responsible person would do and hopped in a car looking for more people to take my anger out on. And that person was medallion number three. But I wasn't satisfied with just three medallions. I went ahead, killed FaZe Dub so quick for medallion number four, and even showed him how to dance. I quickly bullied a normie since Dub didn't stick around to watch me. Unfortunately, he didn't have medallion number 5. I very quickly picked up a bot kill, and then another kill on a pacifist as well. After killing this next last bot, we were down to a really intense 1v1. A dance-off. The thing that I feared the most. Luckily, with just a single move, it was over for him. I had won the game. All right, now we're moving on to FSE or full screen exclusive. And the way that we do that is firstly, that first 
regedit that we tweaked before, we now want to make sure that it is set to two. Afterwards, click on children, and then once again, go on over to edit, find type in Fortnite, or whichever game that you are using, hit enter, and then here we want to change the flag to 211, hit okay, close out, give it a reboot, and then after you reboot, go on ahead to where Fortnite is actually located, and then here to that shipping executable again, just go on down to properties, compatibility, and make sure that disable full screen optimizations is checked. Hit apply, hit okay, and then back to the game we go. We started off this next game exactly the same way, getting that medallion number one, and someone actually did try to push me, and we did this weird back and forth limbo, but eventually I showed him who the real spammer is and got the kill. After drowning my sorrows again, I went ahead, looted vault, and I was on my way. The drinking from before in no way impaired my driving skills whatsoever. It did, however, affect my ability to remember how many mats I had, and then I hid like a baby until I could catch medallion number two off guard and secure the kill. And of course, giving him my dance of appreciation. After friends and families continued efforts to get me to stop drinking, I did it anyways and went on about my business, securing medallion number three. After once again showing my dance of non-toxicity, I went ahead and destroyed another bot. And another. After overwhelming this henchman with my massive wave of dog water, I once again secured another medallion. After someone touched me extremely hard, I once again, like the baby I was, ran as far away as I could, completely in shambles. In my extreme relocation, I did secure two extra bot kills to add to the leaderboard. While blocked up to the main guy from before, I secured another bot in the distance, which he so rudely stole his loot from me. In an attempt to calm my nerves, I took another swig of liquid courage and continued about my battle, in which I ultimately lost. Moving on to the benchmarks, if you'd like to see the screenshots of my benchmarks, it'll be in the description, but I have everything in a nice little graph here, and in order to explain the graph, here are some terms you need to know. DPC latency is system latency introduced by a deferred procedure call, and while that's a very basic definition, it's important to have low DPC latency because the higher it is, the more likely you are to get audio or video stuttering, skips, glitches, etc. Process latency refers to the time it takes for a database to receive a request, process the transaction underlying the request, and respond accordingly. If you have a website bookmarked on your browser, for example, it would be kind of like clicking that, the amount of time it takes to respond to that request, and then display the proper website. ISR, sometimes called interrupt handler, is a software process invoked by an interrupt request from a hardware device. The easiest example here are keyboard events like pressing or releasing a key. As you might have assumed, lower is better on all of them. FSC here has better DB FSC and ISR, while FSO has better process latency. In the FPS graph, FSD dominates the max FPS. Their averages are about the same, but I should note that I had an outlier with FSC where the average was in the 400s for game 3, but FSO remained consistent the entire way through. And lastly, FSO was noted to have much better 1% lows. Given the stats, it's important for you to choose what you want to do for yourself. Both have their pros and cons. But for those that do want to be told what to do, choose FSO to potentially improve 1% lows and get consistent frames, or choose FSC for lower delay and a chance at much higher FPS. With that, I'll be reviewing some pay tweaking utilities sometime soon. Drop some ideas. Love you all. Remember to check up with me in the comments. See you in the next one.